Hello guys and welcome back to another video of Architects 3D Printing. This week I'm bringing you a short but very cool project that I've been working on the last few days. It is a custom 3D printed stand for the Beats EP headphones that I have laying around. I'm gonna explain you how you can customize them with your name, logo, etc. But before starting, make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel, clicking here in this little Architects 3DP icon. If you do it, you will help us growing and continue creating new content for special viewers like you. Okay, so having a closer look to the headphone stand, you can see that I've included the Beats logo here in the bottom, where we can pass through the cables to keep them nice and organized. Your headphones band will lie in this low area on the top and the headphones will just hang from there as you can see here. I designed the stand to fit in a regular 200 by 200 mm printlet. To print it, I've used a speed of 60 mm per second with a 0.2 mm layer height and a 20% infill. For this video, I have uploaded three files that you can download from the files repository in our webpage at architects3dp.com slash files. The first one is the final steel that I've printed out. That includes our webpage address architects3dp.com in one of the sites and our YouTube channel address youtube.com slash c slash architects3dp in the other. You can download this file to print this headphone stand for yourself. If you do it, please remember to post a picture on Instagram mentioning us at architects3dp. Apart from the STL, I'm gonna upload two more files, including the stand itself without any branding in STL, ready to print, and also the 3DM file in Rhino, that you can use to customize the stand with your brand and logo. If you don't have Rhino servers, you will find the links to download the last version for free, both for Windows and Mac OS, down in the description of the video, or also clicking here in the top right corner. To customize the stand, you just have to open the 3DM file in Rhino and go to the top view. You will see that the file has two layers named Customization in red and 3D in black. Now we have to select Customization as the active layer and click in the light bulb to hide the second layer named 3D. Once here we'll see two red rectangles indicating the optimal area to place your branding. For the example, I'm gonna make a custom stand for Ivan Miranda. If you don't know him, you should subscribe to his YouTube channel where he uploads great 3D printing projects every Friday. So we are gonna put Ivan Miranda dash YouTube in one of the sites and his webpage ivanmiranda.com in the other one. For that we will use the command text object and here we will write Ivan Miranda dash YouTube using Arial Bold and the size doesn't really matter. Now we are going to select the Create Curves option and click OK. Now we'll click in the bottom right corner of the left rectangle to set the text in place. Now we'll select the text and use the command Rotate and we'll rotate it fitting in the rectangle like so. Next we'll use the command Scale, clicking on the same corner of the rectangle and we'll scale it to fit inside of it. And after that we'll center it in place. Now we're going to repeat the process in the other side, this time using his webpage ivamiranda.com. Again, we'll place in the bottom right corner of the right rectangle, we'll rotate, scale and center it in place inside of it. Now what I recommend is to save the drawing in another file, clicking in File Save As if you are using Windows or File Duplicate if you are on Mac OS, and this time using a different name. After saving, we are going to select the two rectangles and delete them, and then we'll select all the text and we'll use the command Extrude Curve. We'll extrude it, for example, 100 mm. Now we'll activate the visibility of the layer named 3D that we disabled at the beginning of the video, and we're gonna move the text down until we see it from the other side. Once in place, we'll deselect everything and we'll use the command Mesh Boolean Difference. As the first set of meshes, we'll select the bottom part of the stand, clicking Space or Enter, and as a second set of meshes, now we're gonna select all the text objects in red, making sure the Delete Input option is activated. And after that, click Space or Enter one more time. Our PC will start processing for a second and then the text objects will disappear, creating the holes in the base. Now we just have to save the file, then select all the components of the stand and go to File, Export Selected and choose in the menu STL, Stereo Lithography, and click Export. A 0.1mm tolerance is OK, so we will click OK. Here we have the STL file of our customized headphone stand ready to slice in Cura or your favorite slicer and print it in 3D to get this amazing result.
if you enjoyed and learned with the video, please hit the like button, share the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel clicking right here in this little icon that they will find in the bottom right corner. To stay tuned with progress updates and future videos, you can follow us on social networks at Architects3DP. Finally, if you want to support the channel, you can consider to support us on Patreon. From only $1 per month, what will make us extremely happy and will also give you nice rewards that you can check in our Patreon page navigating to patreon.com slash architects3dp or clicking in the link in the description. Okay, so as always, see you guys in the next video.